It doesn't matter what I do. It's always wrong. A lot of you guys have asked me in the comments, will I do a video on how to tear down a Shimano Kronark CI4 Plus reel, put it back together, maybe do a little bit of cleaning, whatever. So I did the filming. My friend tore down the reel. We didn't do the greatest explanation of, you know, the parts and everything, but it's real. Got to find the right tools for the right job. This. Got to have this. One last thing. Oh, yep. There we go. Just the right thing. Uh, the Bantam oil, of course, everybody knows what that's for. I'm going to use some real butter. I got some pads here for some cleaning. Got some Q-tips. Uh, of course, a 10 millimeter, 11 millimeter wrench. One, two, three, four setups here, all different sizes. That's because the variation on the Shimano reels kind of go anywhere from 8 to 11 millimeter, depending on which reel that you do. I just like to have them all here, so that way I don't have to be searching. Just uh, open the side plate. Side plate off. Pull out this spool. And we're going to go from there. I always like to keep everything right in order. Keep that together. I'll go ahead and put the screw right in it. Now we get to where I believe this one is 10 millimeter. Yep. You get it? Got it. That one was on there. I'm going to go ahead and this is an obvious piece here. Your uh, spool tension knob, you're taking that off. Yeah, just get it out of the way. So when you take apart these reels, you always take it apart in the order that you were doing, correct? Correct. Because I'm asking because I've had people in the comments specifically ask me how to take apart a Kronark CI4. So this is also part of why I'm doing this video and why I'm holding the camera instead of putting it on the tripod idea that didn't work <laughs> of course until you get it far enough that it actually probably can come by hand let's see if we're there yet yes we are and that will come right off like this i got tools everywhere i'll be able to place here If you notice, it's different size screws. So what I like to do, lay that there, lay that there. Always keep the Kronart facing you on the left side and you'll know where they go. Now do me a favor and, and hold that up about right here. So you're getting close. We're getting there. There's always one secret one that you don't see, and it's right there. Okay. Looky there. You know what I noticed, right? We did a, uh, a pretty bad description of how to take apart a Kronark, didn't we? Yeah, we did a bad description. But hey. Hey, you okay. just had a rock fall out, though. What do you mean a rock? There, a rock. As you can see, look at, look how dirty. This definitely needs to be clean. Look at that. Shimano gives you a, a a guide or a booklet that you get, and every part's labeled. And what it's labeling is the part number. So if you ever need to replace anything, you could just call them and order that specific part that's something that i really like you're not going to be doing a lot of replacing on these reels obviously because they're great if you keep them clean but also keep in mind everything that you clean inside here you have to go back through put grease and redo it
work it along the side. You see how the gears run? Yes. So you're going to move it up and so down. So you're saying go with the gear? Yeah, with the teeth. Just be careful you don't get nothing on it. Being excessive. And then you'll take and put a little dot right here. Just a dot, that's all you need. Which just kind of helps with this. And then you'll run this a little bit. And you'll see it starts to work its way away. If, if you look, it really isn't too bad. And then you're just going to wipe after you get it back together. This right here is just a couple of screws in the back. This pulls out. Comparing the teardown of this Cronarch to your first reel, how much have you learned from then to now? Well, I've kind of always known mechanically how things work. But like I said... Um, Shimano's pretty technical. I mean, here, you see how this has, on the side, it sticks up like that? Yes. Well, when you put that back together, you see down in there on that ring? Yes. That's the way it has to go. So. Now, that is an important part, so. I'm going to make it easy on you guys. It took me a while to get this, but I'll make it really easy on you guys. So this slides in and out, and inside of there, there's a bearing. You can see that bearing in there, there's little wheels. Go ahead, slide that right over, put that into place. Okay, and then you're gonna come in here, you want to do a little grease. And what I'm gonna do with that grease is I'm gonna clean this also as I run that grease around there. You can see, it's just nasty. And then I'll add a little more grease. Back together. If it's going to be nice to me. Come on, baby. So, as far as like a demonstration of tearing a reel apart and putting it back together, do you think... There she came, you see? So that, that, that ring... Because you'll, you'll waste so much time trying to line that up and if it's still in this housing. And you just said there she came. Yes, I did. Okay. Anyway. And then we're going to go ahead now. And I'm putting that in the video. <laughs> so how do you feel now that the reel is going back together? Oh, it's great. <laughs> we did a pretty bad explanation, but I hope it'll work. Hey, you know what? What? I think we did a good job. A square inside the circle. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then once you get that going, this goes on. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. You know you're like 10 times faster at doing this than I am, right? Oh, yeah. He took the reel apart. He cleaned it. Now, we still haven't shown the results of after cleaning the reel. And if you're wondering, if you are still watching this video and you're a fan of my channel or someone that watches my videos and you don't know whether you want to subscribe or not or whatever, right now, me talking before I test this reel, is this me stretching the video out to make the 10 minute mark so I can, incur so I can maybe add a couple ad breaks? Yes. Is this me making a 10 minute video so I can increase my watch time? Yes. You will notice that every video I've done in 2019, except for the edits, the short little edits, have been 10 minutes. Every video I make in 2019 is going to be 10 minutes. Just wanted to throw that out there, just wanted to let you know. Some people have commented about it, and I used to do videos that were whatever time I got, well I'm making every video 10 minutes. So the videos that used to be 15 or 20 minutes will be 10 minutes. That back play is totally normal. Just wanted to let you guys know, like, you'll see people that use this reel, especially the 761, and they get they get that back play sound. Well, that is completely normal. Um, check this out, too. Turn down your spool tension. No, yes. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any questions or if you like this video. 
Um, I do have a couple more tackle videos or bait videos coming out. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to be that time we get to uh, open water fishing. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's it.